Hey everybody, it's Terry, and it's bedtime. No. Yeah. No. No. And that's. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna read you a bedtime story. No. No. What are we gonna do? A goat. <laughs> okay, you ready? And read. Yeah. We'll, a book. we'll read this book. Yeah. Uh, we're book. gonna read you the mystery bug collection. It begins with this one, Juliet a book. and the mystery bug. A book. So turn to page one a book. and a book. we'll read together. A book. Juliet and the mystery bug by Terry Shepard. Illustrated by Casey Ratchford and read by the author. It began on a Monday. She heard Hudson sneeze. My head feels hot. There's a pain in my knees. My fingers feel funny. I cough when I talk. There's a buzz in my nose. I feel strange when I walk. What's happened to Hudson, Mom? Juliet said. Will he have to miss school? Will you keep him in bed? What makes people sick? Do you have some suggestions? When someone feels bad, there are so many questions. Juliet's mom knew just what to do. She took Hudson's temperature, 100.2. We'll go to the doctor, said Juliet's mother, to discover the bug that's bugging your brother. I'm sorry you're achy, the good doctor said. She asked where it hurt. She felt Hudson's head. She probed Hudson's ears with a shiny white light, examined his throat and said, something's not right. She swabbed Hudson's tongue saying, this is a test. Until we know more, please get plenty of rest. Take these pills for your fever and drink lots of water. Then she turned to Jules' mom and asked, how is your daughter? Juliet answered, I feel fine today. How can I make Hudson's bug go away? I'll have my nurse teach you some things you can do to stomp out the bugs that cause colds and the flu. Then in came the nurse, Miss Veronica Sands. She held out some soap and said, let's wash our hands. We wash before breakfast. We wash before lunch. We wash before dinner. We wash when we munch, after basketball, football, and when we feel snotty, after playing with puppies, and after we potty. But here is a secret that's not often seen, a special procedure to scrub your hands clean. She lathered this soap until both hands were white, with bubbles and scrubbles that popped with delight. She scrubbed every finger, every thumb without fail. She dug out the dirt from beneath every nail. She washed and she scrubbed, counting 20 from one. Then she rinsed with warm water, saying, Wasn't that fun? That took a long time, Hudson said in surprise. Some germs, the nurse said, you can't see with your eyes. Warm water and scrubbing will get the job done. And once you know how, it's really quite fun. Jules exclaimed with delight, Tell us more, tell us more. How do we push all those germs out the door? I'll teach you a trick, said the nurse. It's a breeze. It's a thing you can do whenever you sneeze. I know how to sneeze, Hudson said with a yawn. If you cover your mouth, you won't pass the bugs on. You're partly right, Hudson, but here is the issue. If you want to trap bugs, you should sneeze in a tissue. When you throw it away, then you know what to do. Find some soap in warm water, wash your hands, and you're through. Now give yourself time, the nurse said with a grin. Your body can fight this. Your body can win. Hudson went home to his bed quite courageous. He stayed home from school while his bug was contagious. Contagious, Jules knew, meant that others could catch it like Maddox and Asher and Molly McPatchett, his teacher Miss Bags and his basketball friends. When a person's contagious, you wait till it ends. And even though hand washing took a bit longer, Hudson's nose stopped its running, 
His muscles felt stronger. His fever was gone. He could hear. He could smell. He said to his mother, I think I am well. The doctor confirmed Hudson's bug went away. And he and his sister went outside to play. Juliet and the Masked Hero by Terry Shepard Illustrated by Casey Ratchford Read by the author I wish I had superpowers, Juliet thought There are dragons to slay There are fights to be fought With my cape on my back and a mask on my face I can go and do good things all over the place When her mother walked in with some cloth and elastic Juliet guessed it was something fantastic What are you making? Is it blue? Is it green? Is it somebody's costume for next Halloween? Are you stitching some socks? Are we having some guests? Are they gifts or stuffed monkeys? Some shorts or a dress? Juliet's mother winked an eye with a smile. It's a fun little project. It's something worthwhile. I'm making an outfit that all heroes wear. It helps to protect you and shows that you care. She held up a pattern. It had four right angles. It looked very plain, a simple rectangle. Two pieces of fabric lay one on another. Now watch what I do, said Juliet's mother. I fold in the edges, creating a border. First top, then bottom, then side, in that order. Then we sew and we stitch, leaving just enough space to thread some elastic and tie it in place. What is this creation? Young Juliet asked. Her mom held it up. It's a superhero's mask. She adjusted the string so the mask fit just right. It covered Jules' smile. It wasn't too tight. Juliet wondered, why do we wear them? Do we each have our own? Is it okay to share them? Masks are a shield, said Juliet's mother, carried by knights and by kids like your brother. Some germs that surround us can make people sick. They sneak in when you breathe. It can happen quite quick. Wearing a mask gives you added protection. It stops every bug from every direction. And if you feel germy, a mask can help too. It shields your friends. They won't catch germs from you. Juliet's eyes reflected her smile. I like my new mask. I like my new style. I could join the police, be a dancer, a doctor, a dentist, a parent, a teacher, a shopper. With my new mask, I can shout, I can sing, I can study the stars, I can do anything. What else can you teach me? What more should I do to keep myself healthy and help others too? Juliet's mother loved her persistence. I have one more tip. Be aware of your distance. I know you love hugging, but during bug season, don't get too close. And here is the reason. The germs in our bodies can float through the air. They can land on your nose. They can dance in your hair. Stand a bit further away from your friend. The bugs will get tired. Their travels will end. Juliet laughed as she walked toward the door. I'm off to find heroes, perhaps to make more. She made a discovery as she skipped down the stair. The hero she sought could be found everywhere. So there you have it, the mystery bug collection. I hope you enjoyed Jules and my bedtime story. She's already snoozing. But before I go, I want to encourage you to visit mystery-bug.com where you can find out a lot more about mystery bugs. I'm Terry Shepard, and I'll see you in the next chapter.